This thing has gone off the rails already. This week in history, Germany, 1936. August marks the start of the Berlin Summer Olympics, which are seen by Adolf Hitler and his Nazi party as an opportunity to parade their new regime on the world stage. The first Olympics to be televised, the Berlin Games are also groundbreaking now the host country integrates propaganda into sports. Berlin is sanitized of any signs of anti-Semitism and oppression, and stadiums are adorned with massive swastikas for the cameras. Hitler hopes his Aryan athletes will spearhead his propaganda efforts by winning medals and demonstrating racial superiority. African-American track and field prodigy Jesse Owens, however, shatters that goal. In the first nine days of the games, Owens wins four gold medals. The very image of a victorious black man smiling above Nazi saluting white athletes goes a long way in undermining Hitler's racial messaging. That October, Owens speaks out against claims that Hitler had snubbed him. Hitler didn't snub me, he said. It was our president who snubbed me. The president didn't even send me a telegram. The lifelong Republican athlete backs FDR's opponent in the election later that year. Jesse Owens won four gold medals in relay, 100-yard dash, 220-yard sprint, and the long jump. Jesse Owens only set one world record at the 36 Olympics, which was for the relay. He had already set the record in the other three one year earlier. His world records were so dominant that his long jump record lasted until 1960. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more content, check out our website or our Facebook pages.